Welcome to today's training. I want to thank everyone who has been watching my videos. I want to thank also those who have subscribed to this channel. I would like to appeal to you to subscribe to this channel if you have not done so already. And please always leave a comment at the comment section. Let me know how to improve. On the videos I'm making. Okay, in today's training, we'll consider a question by one of my friends. Um, you can get him a Basif Freke Sunday. Okay, Basif Freke Sunday ask the first question and say my MTN high in the flesh external power bank doesn't go off. There's always a blue light on when the router isn't on itself is this normal or any solution to it um i reply him i say hi abasi it's normal but mtn needs to do something about it to improve the product yes the light is always on the power bank light is always on the power bank light is always on but MTN needs to work on it to improve on it. But the question we will respond today is the next one. He says, all right, thanks. One more thing. That's for one minutes ago. One more thing, please. How do I activate the 5.0 gigahertz bandwidth on my router? It's not broadcasting, even after I have enabled it on the admin portal of the Wi-Fi. I need help, please. Okay, this video, no need replying with words is uh, it's better to do a video on this kind of question to explain it more. So I would like to do, that's why I'm doing a video. And he said um, he has activated it, the 5.0 gigahertz bandwidth on the router. So let's just go. And meanwhile, I want to tell you that I'm currently using the the MTN high net flex router. That's the one I'm using, high net flex router. And uh, I'm using 2.4 gigahertz. You can see it here. Okay. So it's MTN high net flex 2.4 gigahertz. So you know there's 2.4 gigahertz and there's 5.0 gigahertz. But the 2.54 gigahertz is um, slower but can uh, cover a long range while the 5.0 gigahertz is bandwidth is faster but only covers a short range so our friend wants to activate and use the 5.0 gigahertz i will now demonstrate it i'm using 2.4 gigahertz but i want to use 5.0 gigahertz in the browsing so let's go there and i will open my admin panel and then log in Okay, I'm there. So I'm logging, and then let's go to Wi-Fi settings. Okay, Wi-Fi settings, you have the 2.4 gigahertz, which is here, and you have the 5.0 gigahertz, okay, which is also there. So I will go to 5.0 gigahertz, and then what is it so what do you do
okay this is from model mf model mf2 assist this is model mf2 assist so let's check the advanced settings and medium range and okay it's long wi-fi coverage okay, which is okay And then let's consider the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5.0 gigahertz. So under Wi-Fi settings, enabled. Okay, so and when you get to my phone now. Okay. Um, Okay, so let me click this and Wi-Fi. Okay, you see, it's there. It's there. You can see this because my phone has the capacity to work with. 5.0 gigahertz so that's why you can have this and you have this as we discuss about um, the frequency band for MTM router just know that not all um, devices can be connected to the 5.0 gigahertz uh, compatible devices for 5.0 frequency band connections are available but not all devices are compatible and not all devices can be connected to um, 5.0 GHz band for devices using Windows operating system just like uh, Windows 10 you can actually know if your laptop or desktop is compatible how do I know if my Windows 10 device can connect to 5.0 GHz band Okay, to know if your Windows 10 system can connect to 5.0 frequency band, simply uh, do this. Just open the command prompt. At the command prompt, just type this command and press the enter key. From the list display, check for radio type supported. 